Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and this is the Forex Weekly Outlook for the week of July the 12th, 2010. Now to start our presentation again this week we're going to be again beginning with the US dollar index. Now what we're going to do here quickly is we're going to pull up the triple EMA crossover. We're going to actually start with the short term and we're going to run through each one of our crossovers to illustrate a point here. Our short, short term crossover has taken place to the downside last week. We have no crossover to the upside. Looking at the medium term crossover here from vantage point, we again have absolutely no cross to the upside whatsoever. We have this crossover that's taken place to the downside and it's actually gaining strength. Now looking at the long term crossover from vantage point, we can see here that we also have no crossover to the upside whatsoever. Now what we do from there is once we go in, we've gone through our three major crossovers, we go to our fourth and most significant crossover which is the triple EMA. Now looking at the triple EMA we can clearly see that the market is hugging the, the predicted three day moving average from vantage point. It's not even testing the eight or the 18 day. We've got a fairly significant move here. Now two things, well actually three things of concern to me is that uh, both the predicted medium and long term differences are somewhat oversold. So is the MACD and so is the predicted true strength indicator. Now the trigger has a considerable distance yet to move lower but we're getting a little bit oversold but uh, again this is probably just a mild corrective move higher and then we're going to continue with that downtrend. Now it's important to identify using the US dollar index because this is a leading indicator what the next week ahead is going to be like. Now uh, regrettably we are entering into summer trading. Not a favorite uh, time of year for me. Very similar to like the Christmas holidays where we get thin markets, volatile, wild swings based on uh, data that may or may not be that relevant to, <laughs> to the current situation. But for now, uh, what I want to point out is that with the US dollar index in its current state, uh, we're only looking to sell US dollars. We're not looking to to buy US dollars against any of the major currency pairs. That would include the Euro, the Swiss franc, the British pound, the CAD, the Aussie, just to name a few. Now again, the yen is a bit of a wild card, but we'll get into that. So again, what we're going to do this week is we're going to look take a more medium term perspective of this. Uh, you'll know that I, I I constantly advise people in the markets and my clients uh, to stay away from this short-term indica indicators because the, the short-term stuff really does not produce uh, as well as what a more medium to longer-term outlook does. Now, I'm not saying we can't day trade and do things like that, but if, if we're you know going against a particular trend, we want to make sure we're taking profits. So with that said, I'm going to go in and we're going to start right off the bat this week with the currency pairs. So let's get into our first pair. We're going to look at the dollar yen. Now looking at the dollar yen, you can see here that I don't have the triple EMA crossover. I've actually, we're going to use the medium ter term crossover throughout uh, this presentation. We can see that the medium term crossover is getting ready to cross to the upside. I talked about this in the Forex uh, pre-market open. I talked about this last week that I felt that the yen was oversold and that we're going to get a bounce here. Now this could be just corrective in nature. However, I do see the yen weakening further going, uh, getting into the, to the week's trading. But again, we have to look at the equities and everything that go with that. But right now we've hit the oversold level. The predicted true strength indicator, one of our top indicators, is getting ready to cross that trigger. Predicted MACD is uh, again coming out of that oversold territory as are the predicted medium and long term differences. But again here the medium term has not crossed to the upside. Now we can go in here and look at the the short term and show what an actual, actual mixed signal here we have on the dollar yen. Now looking at this we can see that we've got the short term crossover is crossed to the upside. The market's moving higher but the medium and the long term are actually not overly supportive of this move as of yet. So we can see here on the long term crossover from vantage point we still have a very significant gap here. Uh, and again so we're looking basically to take these counter trend long positions in the, in the dollar yen strictly based on the fact that we're in a corrective move, it's oversold and we should see further strength higher. Now if that's the case what we want to do now is we want to identify an upside target. That's when we then put the triple EMA back into place here. We can see the triple EMA comes in at 8901, 8830 and 8828 with a close of 8860. 
So currently, the way this sets up, our corrective move looks to be our target would be the 89 level. So this is how we do this. We identify that the short and the medium term are crossing to the upside, but our long term and our triple EMA, very powerful indicators, are still saying, wait a second here, this thing is still in a bit of a downtrend. So we want to be very mindful of that so we want to get into our counter trend longs we want to get in there around that 88 14 area but our target for now is the 89 level unless we get a sustained break of the 8901 level the market is still likely the the dollar yen is still likely to see some downside pressure now going into the US CAD pair we've talked about this one I talked about this one during the week that I felt that we're still playing a range well that's exactly what's happening now this time you can see that we have uh, at least four candlesticks sitting just under this 107 area. Last Sunday I recommend shorting that. Uh, that's moved all the way down. It's hit a low this week of 102.97. Very nice move. So if we start the week there, we're looking at the recommendation coming down here. I'm just going to quickly draw this in so everybody can see it. Uh, now again, using this profit calculator, I can identify you know what actually happened on this trade from last week to from the beginning of the week to the close of the week again pointing out to stay away from this short term nonsense and just really look at the bigger picture here now you know if we're taking that trade short at the beginning of last week what i suggested 382 pips thirty three hundred and sixty one dollars in profit very nice move we can see that it basically got completely tangled up in this range and then just boom straight down now we've got our medium term crossover you can see again that i I have, I have no short-term indicators up on my screen whatsoever because to be perfectly honest I simply can't be bothered with that intraday market noise I need to make sure that before I enter into a short medium or long-term position the most important thing to identify is the medium and the mo and the longer term outlook because again are you trading with the trend or against the trend very important so with this US Canada clearly in a very strong downtrend uh, our predicted true strength indicator, one of our top indicators, has just crossed the trigger to the downside. That's another indication that US CAD is going to move lower. However, my opinion is we're in a broader range here. We can see this upper candlestick in this 108.50. Our lower end of this range is 99.35. Do we have the possibility of moving down towards this 99.35 area again? My opinion is yes we do, but again we're playing, still playing that range so we have to be careful. But for now, the medium term crossover from vantage point is a highly, highly accurate indicator. And if we were just using this to trade off of the medium term outlook here for us, points to the downside. Very important to remember that. So to start the week, what we want to look at, we can see that the, the four day uh, predicted moving average from vantage point comes in around this 104.34 area. So if we're going to go in to have a look at this and we're looking for an area to, to reset our short position. So let's actually have a look at the, the daily report from vantage point here. Now looking at the daily report, I'm just going to pull this up, sorry, so everybody can see it okay. Uh, we've got 102.81, 103.96. Now we've closed at just over the 103 area. So 103.96, we've closed at 103.35. So we're looking for a move, an extension up towards this 103.96 area, at which time we're going to use that to set our short position. 